Okay guys, we're going to go over some stoichiometry practice problems. Um, first one we're going to do, this is on page 930. And we are going to start with number 167. Okay, in the problem it says aluminum will react with sulfuric acid in the following reaction. And it gives us our reaction. We see we have two moles of aluminum plus three moles of sulfuric acid and it reacts to form aluminum sulfate and three moles of hydrogen gas. Okay. The equation's already balanced for us, so we don't have to balance anything. Um, a, part A, using this reaction, it says how many moles of sulfuric acid will react with 18 moles of aluminum? Okay, so we're going a mole-to-mole -mole reaction, or a mole-to-mole -mole conversion. So we'll start with what we have, and what we have is we have 18 moles of sulfuric acid which is H2SO4 and it wants to know how many moles of aluminum um, we'll need to react with it so all we're going to do here in a mole to mole conversion we only have one conversion factor uh, that conversion factor for this one we have two moles of aluminum for every three moles of sulfuric acid now remember that whatever's in this box has to go in the bottom box. So we need this unit down here so it'll cancel out. So we're going to use this side of the equation. We have three moles of H2SO4 for every two moles of aluminum. Okay, so we multiply the top out and 2 times 18 is 36 and 1 times 3 is 3 and 36 divided by 3 will give us 12 moles of aluminum and we know that it's 12 moles of aluminum because we can look at the problem and see that that unit right there is going to cancel out with that unit and we're left with the unit we want which is moles of aluminum all right, guys, now we're going to work um, 930. We're on page 930. We're working number 170, and we're working A. Now, A tells us, it says, what is the mass of oxygen is produced when we have 100 or 1.84 moles of hydrogen peroxide, and it decomposes. So what we're having is we have 108, not 108, I don't know why I want to say that, but 1.84 moles of hydrogen peroxide and it wants to know how much oxygen is produced when this decomposes so decomposition reaction it wants to know how much oxygen is produced okay now this is going to be a two-step conversion because we're going from moles to grams so we need two conversion factors right off the bat we should notice that we're dealing with hydrogen peroxide and oxygen so our first conversion factor we can write down, we know for sure, we know that two moles of H2O2 equals one mole of oxygen gas. Okay, first conversion factor that we know. Okay, now this conversion factor we're going to use down here, and this gets us to where we're using moles of oxygen. Okay. We know that two moles of H2O2 equals one mole of O2. Now, what we did there was this unit right here is going to cancel. And what we have is we have our unit of one mole of oxygen gas. Now, we don't want moles of oxygen gas. What we want is we want grams of oxygen gas. So the next conversion factor that we have to use is we have to change it to grams. So we know that one mole of oxygen gas equals the gram form of the mass of oxygen. We have two oxygens, oxygen weighs 16, so we have a mass of 
32 grams. Okay, so we set this back up in our problem. We can use this down here. One mole of O2 equals 32 grams of O2. Okay, so we see that this unit cancels as well. And now we're to the unit that we want. We have 32 grams of O2, so we multiply the top, 1.84 times 1 times 32, all divided by 2, and we get an answer of 29.44 grams of oxygen gas. Mask us an A. It says calculate the mass of manganese dioxide needed to produce 25 grams of chlorine, which is Cl2. Okay, so we start with what it gives us. We have 25 grams of chlorine, and we're going to do a mass to mass conversion. So remember when we we're doing a mass to mass conversion, we need three conversion factors. The very first one we can realize is that we have our ratio, our mole ratio. Okay, and we have a one to one mole ratio. So we know that one mole of manganese oxide plus or equals one mole of chlorine gas. Okay, that's our first one. We get that from the coefficients. We don't have coefficients here, so they're understood ones. Our next conversion factor is in a mass to mass conversion we need the molar mass of each substance. So we know that one mole of chlorine gas equals the molar mass of chlorine is 35.45. Multiply that by two, since there's two of them, and we get 70.9 grams of chlorine gas. We also need to find it for um, manganese oxide. So we have one mole manganese oxide equals manganese has a mass of 55 oxygen has a mass of 16 and we have two of them so it would be 32 so 55 plus 16 gives us a total mass or plus 32 gives us a total mass of 87 grams of manganese oxide now we can work them into the equation so we start with what we have, and we see we have grams here, so the only thing that has grams of Cl2 would be this conversion factor right here, so we put 70.9 grams of chlorine gas, okay, and that equals one mole of chlorine gas. Now we're going to change it from, these units cancel here, so we're going to change it from moles of chlorine gas into moles of manganese oxide. So we have a one-to-one -one conversion here, so we need to put that unit down here so we get it from right there. We put one mole Cl2 equals one mole of manganese oxide. Okay. Now we see that these conversion, those units cancel, and we're left with moles of manganese dioxide. Now, we don't want moles of manganese oxide, so we need mass. So our last conversion, we've already used that conversion and that conversion, our last conversion factor. We put one mole manganese oxide equals 87 grams of manganese oxide. And we see that those units cancel again. And we're left with the unit that we want, which is nine gr er, grams of manganese oxide. So we multiply the top, 25 times 1 times 1 times 87, and we get 2,175. And we have 70.9 times 1 times 1, which is 70.9. Work that out, 2,175 divided by 70.9, and we get... 30.67 grams of manganese 4 oxide.